Hey folks, Paul Markle here with Student of the Gun, and we are at the Night Vision headquarters, and with me today is CJ from Night Vision. Yes, uh, so Night Vision started last year. Um, our sister company, Kamenga, has been manufacturing the official military compass for over 26 years, and in that compass we've been using tritium, and we're licensed from the NRC to be able to do that. Uh, we started helping other companies uh, install tritium into their sites, and we decided we need to come out with a brighter way to do it and actually put more tritium in that's more affordable right here on American soil. So that's where Night Vision was created, and uh, we're excited to have partnered up with Student of the Guns, Paul Markle here, on the Accurate sites. Many people may not know that even though if you go to a catalog or you go to your favorite outdoor store, you'll see that there's lots and lots of different night sites. But there are very, very few, I'm talking less than this many fingers, companies in the United States that are licensed to actually produce, manufacture, and dispose of tritium material. It's kind of like a, about 10 years ago, the lower receivers for just about every black rifle in America were made by a handful of companies. And it's very similar with the night vision. Our mutual friend, Jacob Herman, right. introduced us about oh, nine, almost a year ago now. Right. Almost a year ago, and he said, Paul, I'm working with night vision sites. And if you were going to design a site from the ground up, a pistol site, how would you do it? That's a pretty loaded question. And there are a lot of different sites out there. And there are a lot of different sites that have very, very positive attributes. Some don't. So we started examining it like, well, what is the customer asking for? And we have two main sets of customers. We have citizens. Mm -hmm. you know, and we also have law enforcement. And while you might think that law enforcement and citizens have the exact same specifications, they don't always. Because what do law enforcement officers have to do with their guns besides shoot bad guys? They have to qualify, right? They have to qualify with their guns. So if you're a police officer, you're not just thinking, well, I have to carry this thing and I have to shoot bad guys. But the reality of it is every year or twice a year or however many times your department does it, you're out on the range shooting paper and cardboard to get a score, and that score may affect your promotion and so forth. So you're very concerned about the ability of your gun to shoot accurately, not just fast. And I think that's something that we've tried to tackle. Uh, and what I'm holding in my hands right now is a Glock 17, and it has the official Accurate sights. These are the student of the gun official sights. And what we have in the back, what do we have in the back? It's a a tritium, but it's not, it does not have a plastic vial. No, so, so what we have here is a single vial, single dot, and we have our black silhouette rings around the vial, so it doesn't distract the shooter when they're really trying to keep that front sight focus. Right, and up front, now what these guys at Night Vision have done, many of you might be thinking, you're saying, okay, I've been around a long time. I've seen a lot of night sights. Night sights from company X, Y, Z, and so forth. And why is yours any different than the one I first heard about 20 years ago? Sure, so I mentioned before our experience with tritium. Uh, we actually put 30% more tritium into every single sight set. Uh, on the front, that front sight has a ballistic polymer ring that goes around the tritium vial. So beyond it being brighter at night because of the uh, increased amount of tritium, it's actually brighter during the day because you have that ballistic polymer ring that actually has a fluorescent pigment added uh, to it. So during the day, that thing will really pop. And you'll see our yellow front model right here. And that's something that uh, we've been working with. And, and it's not just us, it's every industry has discovered that certain colors are better because human beings, well, when the sun goes down and you lose ambient light, when you lose regular light, what happens to your vision? it goes to black and white sure and you start to lose your color vision that's you know the way humans work so how do we adapt and how do we work with this and one of the things that jacob asked me he said will you work with this and try and come up with something that will work for citizens concealed carriers and law enforcement so that's what we did and one of the main things that we wanted to make sure we did was develop a site that was legitimately point of aim point of impact with a very specific load. Now the load that we chose wasn't some crazy off the wall load. What I needed to do was find a load that would be very, very consistent across the board. And so that was the Black Hills 124 grain jacketed hollow point factory new ammunition. Black Hills has 
well, they have famous quality control. And I knew that regardless of the lot or the year it was made or when you got it or when I got it, it was going to be consistent. The height of the front sight determines where the bullet's gonna impact. And if you're a police officer, I was a police officer, and when I was a police officer and we did qualification, we had to shoot targets from basically touching distance all the way out to 50 feet or around 17 yards. That's as far as we had to. And I started doing some research nationwide and I found that my situation was not unique. Most agencies, 50 feet is their long shot and then they work inward. So we needed to come up with a site that would be point of aim, point of impact at really close up distance, three, five yards, and the same at 50 feet. And we did, we worked together. Right. We did different sight heights, you know, uh, these guys, they sent me various sight heights. We worked with those and we found the one that would work. And what we've got now is we have a formula. We do. We've got the formula. <laughs> the formula is these sites, these accurate sites on a Glock. We had to do something first. Right. You know, we, we couldn't do every pistol, every make and model first. Right. We had to pick one and go first. Uh, it wasn't really a hard decision to, right. to go with the G locks, right? Naturally. So we went with the Glock 17. Glock 17, 19, 23, 22. If it has the Glock 17 slide cut, we've got the sights for it. And if you look at them, they may look a little taller than standard factory sights. Correct. And the reason is, is they are. When Jacob's selling the sights, he's out there in the world talking to the actual end users. And one of the complaints they had is they said, the sights that come on the guns aren't point of aim, point of impact okay. with our ammo. And if, if I'm qualifying, if I'm shooting paper, and it's going to be the, you know, the difference between me being promoted or getting a raise, I want to have really good tight groups where they need to be, not where they don't. So uh, we set out to do that, and we accomplished it. So right now, these sites with 124 grain ammunition, which is pretty standard, 9 mil self-defense ammo, point of aim, point of impact. And to tell you the truth, it's not just five yards and 10 and so forth. We've shot these all the way out to 50 yards on half size steel silhouettes, they hit them. So as long as you do your job, the sites will do their job. Definitely. Now one of the other things that uh, I wanna talk about real quick is sight colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can put any color on under the rainbow. You can do pink and purple or blue or whatever, but why do we pick certain things? Now I know based on my experience and training that when human beings lose their ability to see color, Everything goes to what? Gray and black and white. Right. Right. Different shades. So you either have you have white on this end of the spectrum and you have black on this end of the spectrum and everything in between, it doesn't matter whether it started out blue, green, red, whatever, now it's all shades of gray because you lost your color vision. So a white front sight is always gonna be white. It's never gonna not be white because white is on this end and black's on this end but white doesn't show up as well as some people would like during the day. Some people want something brighter in the daytime. Okay, fantastic. Why don't road crews wear red vests or orange vests anymore? When you see the guys out on most road crews, at least where I live, they're wearing those super fluorescent yellowish vests. Right. Why do they do that? It's the easiest for the human eye to see. Exactly, when you start losing your color vision, the last color spectrum you lose is that what they call safety green. That super bright yellow with just a little tiny tinge of green, kind of like that up there. Yeah, I was gonna say kind of like, like that. that. That's the last color spectrum you lose. So we're like, okay, consumer, you may like that. Now the other one I wanna address real quick and it's not my favorite, the orange dot. It's not my favorite. But you know what? I'm not carrying your gun. You are carrying your gun. And I talked to some people, people that I respect and that are friends of mine, and they said, oh no, that's what I want. I want the orange dot. And it wasn't because of science. It wasn't because, of, because that's what they wanted. Right. And so when we were working together, we came to the decision like, okay, it's your gun. You're the one that's gonna be carrying it. My favorite might be X, but your favorite is not that. Now I could spend all day trying to convince you otherwise, sure. or we could just do what? We could provide you with options. Right, <laughs> agree to disagree and have the options. Yeah, so, so that's what we did. We're like, you could, if you want white, we got white. If you want the safety green, super bright fluorescent yellow, we got that. If you want the orange, if that's your bag, man, do it. 
Definitely. Yeah. So what we have is in the Accurate sights, we have a really, really bright front sight. We have a rear sight that's solid steel, 90 degree angle. If you need to work this one-handed, you can do it, no sweat. And these are real solid steel sights. Right. These are duty quality sights. I'm not going to do it now. But if I wanted to, I could throw this down on the ground and pick it up and they would still be okay. Uh, and then in the rear, we have a subdued tritium. So if you're in super low light and you want to make that accurate shot, you can line the sights up. It gives you that reference point to light them up. But it's not so bright that you're going to get confused between which one's the front and right. which one's the back. Absolute accuracy, day or night, the night vision sights. You have anything else to add to that? No, I think you summed it up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, where do you go now? Well, it's super simple. You can go to studentofthegun.com slash sites. Or you can go to www.nightvision.com.